scene opens to a meeting beginning to go underway in Rue Saint-Jacques in Paris, France. It is the month of October in the year 1789. The group about to meet was able to rent out the church's refectory in order to hold their meeting. The people that have settled in the refectory were currently chatting quietly as they waited for the meeting to begin. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Maximilien Robespierre, and I'm the head of this club, Club Bedthorn. As most of you already know, the purpose of this club is to ch change our aristocratic favoring government into a Republican-style representative government. And as the first order of business, I will take any suggestions on how to introduce this group to the public. We, oui, croissant. I think that we should change the name Club Benthorn into a more sophisticated, sophisticated name. I don't think the, the name Club Benthorn strikes fear into our aristocratic society. We, we should name our club Club Jacobin. After this town, Rue Saint-Jacques. After all, this is our first meeting here. Everyone that agrees saying, oui, oui, bonjour. Oui, oui, bonjour. Then it is settled. We are the Jacobin Club. The scene opens to a salon around the same time when the newly dubbed Jacobins were meeting. This salon is owned by Madame Roland, who is an avid supporter of the French Revolution. The salon was rented out by the Brissantins, commonly called the Gironins, and their leader Jacques Pierre Brissot as a place to hold their meetings. The Gironins, unlike the Jacobins, are not an organized political organization. They are merely a group of deputies that are part of France's National Convention, who went to the National Legislative Assembly from the Department of Gironde. They disagree with how the government is acting and support the revolution. Right now, the Girondins are also getting ready for their first meeting to discuss the weakening government and how to unite France as one. I would like to begin this week's discussion with the problem with our monarchy. Yes, that is quite a problem, no? Yeah, we. I'm enraged at the government. They only favor the rich, not even the poor, and the poor do, do all the, of the hard work. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say we need a government that represents the ideals of the public. I'm tired of the unfair separation between the rich and the poor. And also, the, the king's punishments are even more extreme. I swear, he picks all of his punishments out of a hat. <laughs> yes, I agree. We need to think of a way where we can unite the country, otherwise we risk anarchy. How about a war? Because, you know, a war brings everybody together. <laughs> yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that is genius. I a know. war will unite the people. I suggest that we wage a war against a country that we can beat. How about Austria? I mean, we also have some discrepancies with each other, so that may work. Well, no matter how our opinions differ, there will be no government if we continue on the track we're on right now. We have to figure out a way to unite. Yeah, actually, more help gives us more favor in the public, doesn't it? We should get the, the Jacobins to work with us. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a perfect idea. The Alcobins see our way, and also they agree uh, how we see the government. Yeah, we totally agree, guys. Great, this just might work. Quickly, everybody, we must work on proposing the idea to the government. Indeed. Oh, 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 we now see the Jacobins and the Gironins meeting up for the first time to discuss their ideas on how to deal with the failing monarchy. The two leaders of the radical groups are seen sitting down in a meeting room ready to discuss and formulate a plan of action. Bonjour, my name is Maximilien Robespierre and I am the leader of the Jacobins. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jean-Pierre Brissot, and I'm the leader of the small group known as the Brissontins. You must have heard of us. Indeed I have. Shall we get down to business? Yes. Now we know that the French government is collapsing into anarchy, and small riots are occurring into the countryside. We need to find a way to unite the government. 
Yes. That is my understanding. So, I propose that we wage a war against a weaker country, like Austria. Uh, <laughs> that is where you are wrong. I was just thinking along the lines of sending our current government and the king down to the guillotine. Why would you do something so radical? Well, if we want to get rid of the current government and make a republic that the general public will love, we have to send the king down to the guillotine. There's no need for that kind of violence. You don't have to send the king to the guillotine. You can just ask him to stand down. Are you just saying that you want to protect that, that fat monstrosity sitting on our throne? Yes. Our rebuilding the government does not have to revolve around killing the king. It should and it does. It should not and it will not. The winner of the fight was Maximilian Robespierre. The war that was originally proposed by the Girondins was in motion, but the battle was not as easy as they thought it would be, and they were close to losing several times. Because of the now unpopular war, the public did unite as Brissot predicted, but they united to kick the Girondins out of the government. The Jacobins, who ended up taking control of the government, sent the Girondins and King Louis XVI to the guillotine on the grounds of treason. Jacques Pierre Brissot, as well as the rest of the Girondins, were killed between May 27, 1793 to June 2, 1793. Robespierre rose to power, and instead of promoting republican and equal government, he promoted violence and fear. The time that he was under power was known as the Reign of Terror. He was eventually overthrown in July 1794, and the Jacobins were disbanded in 1795 of August.